Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today I got a new project which is a repeat of an old project. So uh, if you remember I did the uh, 75 G.I. Joe with the missing arms and I used BDI arms to replace them. So uh, I picked up this figure very uh, several months ago. So this figure uh, just kind of, it didn't come with a head, it didn't even come with a neck peg, but I did pick up a 3D printed one off eBay. Uh, you could also pick up 3D printed neck pegs from Poplox 4583. So if you're looking for one of those, he's also uh, developing a really, really, really cool custom neck peg. Uh, so keep an eye on his channel for that to pop up. But anyway, I got recently the 75 head to go with it now 75 uh heads are just a hair smaller than your standard uh, adventure team head uh, they got like a kind of unique look and another giveaway is the neck plug in the uh in the head that's another one so they're not as easy to find but got a really good deal on this one he does need to be reflocked so We'll be doing that during this restoration, getting him his arms, and we'll see if I can figure out a pretty cool outfit for him. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, so we start with the head. I'm going to be removing the neck peg, so I heat it up with a blow dryer and just use a screwdriver to just work around it, and it pops right out. I've shown that many times on my channel, so I'll do that. And then I'll get him into an alcohol dunk and let him sit overnight. And then we'll get working on him tomorrow. But you can see the, uh, the beard is scraped away. And uh, he's got some chunks missing out of his hair. A little dirty too. That I don't mind. You could clean these guys up with a little bit of time. But with the, the flock missing, otherwise it is in pretty good shape but uh, this guy's gonna need to be redone and my touch-ups I've done before they're pretty good but it's never quite the same so I'm gonna start fresh with this guy and give him a new flock Okay, so there's the neck plug, and uh, you can see that's definitely the original based on the amount of rubber that has fallen out of it. So this guy has been out of commission for a while. And on top of that, you'll see something that did happen at the factory. This is actually the, uh, the Black Adventure's neck peg. Um, you know, obviously it doesn't matter once it's plugged in, but uh, yep. That is uh, what that is. So I'll get him in alcohol and we'll get this guy uh, moving along. Okay, so in goes the head and you could use any uh, rubbing alcohol that you like. Uh, I got the 70% cheap kind. You can get the 91 as long as it sits in there for about 24 hours. Uh, then you can remove the old flocking. Okay, so the head has been deflocked. Uh, it's the next morning, and uh, he's ready for reflocking. So let's get started. Okay, so getting ready for the uh, gluing process. Uh, use uh, Gorilla Glue Clear um, for the flocking. I just use a metal uh, scissor. Uh, I've added copper to it, uh, so the head will go on there like so and that just uh, creates a better electrical charge and gives me something to hold on to as I flock the figure and it's just a simple matter of uh, taking the glue and painting everywhere you want the flock to go
Okay, so uh, finished the reflocking. This is how it came out. It came out pretty nice. Do need to uh, touch up the uh, eyebrows just a little bit. They're in pretty good shape, but they just need a little touch up. Get to that eventually. But uh, now that he is reflocked, I'm going to go ahead and focus on getting the arm set up. Okay, so here is the BBI body that I used to uh, get the arms from. So you just unscrew this and then you separate the shoulder and pull out the arm. So I'll go ahead and do that. Does take a little finesse to get it pried open and get that part out. Basically, you got to separate this joint right here and then you pop out the arm. Okay, so now with the arm out, you can see the joint. It's a little bit of a hexagon shape. And it's pretty close to the uh, hole, so in order to get this in place, because it won't just force in uh, right off the bat, you might crack the uh, plastic if you do that. Is I just heat it up, you could use boiling water uh, or a blow dryer just to heat it up, just to soften it up enough to pop it into place. Okay, so I've just popped it into place, and uh, the original version I did on this uh, the color match wasn't that great because I think that body was faded this one is near perfection uh, and it just popped in and the, the fit is truly incredible it's just so tight it's it's such a beautiful fit and it's just a really nice option because as you know if you're looking for 75 muscle bodies the arms are often missing hard to find and expensive and there's also the added benefit of all this extra articulation that you wouldn't get uh, yeah, so it's just a, a really nice option to get your uh, Joe back into shape so I'll go ahead and heat up this head just a bit and pop it on and we'll wrap this one up Okay, so that's a finished project, uh, at least as far as the body is concerned. Uh, there's uh, always the uh, fun part of figuring out a uniform and giving this guy a, uh, a new job or a new life. But uh, as you can see, the uh, head is fully reflocked. The arms are now on. It, it's such a such a nice fit. I just I love this mod. Uh, it just uh, works so well, and it uh, it fits a need that is out there. So I'm glad to promote it. Actually, I'm the one that developed it, but in any event, uh, it is a good idea. BBI bodies are not incredibly easy to find, so it's not a perfect fix. And, you know, there's always the preference to have the original, to have the original parts. That's always option number one. But in a case where it's not available, you can actually put these guys together uh, pretty affordably. Uh, the head was $14. This body, I think I got several months back, was only about $20 to $25, maybe. And then, of course, the purchase of a BBI body uh, is going to add about another $15 or so, depending on where you get it. But uh, that's still well under 100 bucks for a muscle body G.I. Joe, uh, ready for action. I think it turned out really nice. Such a fun project to do. Okay, so here he is. Uh, this is a uh, 
kind of a bash on the Magnum power. Uh, not complete yet. I need to get him a uh, bulletproof vest, but as you can see with that added articulation, uh, you can really pull off some pretty cool sniper poses. So I'm digging that. So this is the uh, Cotsworld uh, Amoeba outfit. It's uh, basically the uh, Magnum Power outfit as a uh, jumpsuit. Did add the uh, the belt to it and uh, the brown boots. Kind of gives it a cool look. So now he's uh, back in action with a new assignment. Hope you enjoyed following along for the restoration of this 1975 G.I. Joe muscle body with custom BBI arms. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.